Oh my gosh, I'm not dead. Hey, I'm Becky. Welcome to my channel. I'm back for more from my break. If you're new here, how did you even find me? I have like no followers because I'm not cool. So why are you here? Why are you watching me? But wait, don't go. Stay. Watch, watch me. If you like me, subscribe. Click the bell somewhere down in the box below here. And that'll tell you when I make new videos, which I'm going to try to be better at. I was good for a while, and then I got busy, you know, with, like, life and stuff. Welcome to the crew. Hang on. Just... Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I have plans tonight. Oh, I want to go to that new rooftop bar, though. Let me know how it goes, and um, I'll go next time, okay? Alright, bye. Plans tonight. My plans tonight are exercising my thumbs on these dating apps. I don't know, what dating apps do you guys use to find dates? That sounds really sad, doesn't it? I mean, I can find dates in real life, but it's just easier with my hours to swipe on an app. I've got the whole list. You know what? Dating life... You don't just put all your retirement savings into one pot, do you? You don't just upload your resume to one company. No. So why would you only be on one dating site? You're limiting your options. No, it's not desperation. It's just putting all your eggs in multiple baskets and hoping for a good match. We've got eHarmony and Match. Do I really want to spend the time and answer all those questions? No. Okay, Cupid. There's a reason why they call it okay, Cupid. Plenty of fish. I think there's a reason why there's that many fish left in that pool of fish, so we'll skip that one too. We've got Luxy. So Luxy is one of those dating apps that they have to vote you in, basically based off your looks and if you make enough money. Their whole um, byline is like Tinder, but for rich people. What? That kind of had me curious about what kind of douchebags are on this app and what kind of um, gold diggers are on here. So, my vein side got the better of me and I just wanted to see if I'd get voted in. Somehow I did, I don't know how, but I was on Luxy for a week. But then they wanted like $50 or something to join. I was like, oh, hell no. And, um... It's basically like the douchebag gym mirror selfie guys of Tinder, but it's like, here's me on my yacht. Here's my Rolex. Here's me on the balcony of my mansion. And those guys still only want hookups. No. And the girls, like, you could, like, post pictures and people would, like, like it or comment on it. The girls on there were so, like, catty and they were getting into cat fights over trying to get the guy's attention. It was kind of like The Bachelor. I kind of like Hinge, but I kind of left, I don't know how to change my GPS, so it always like home bases me into New York City. So I always talk to guys in New York and they're like, oh, you don't live here. And then I never hear from them. Happen, Happen is a really creepy stalker app. You can see who's stalking you because it basically like tracks people and matches you based on if you cross paths. I don't know the distance that it does, but it's creepy. No. Tinder, fuckboys, no. Grinder. Because I like gay men. I really do, it's a problem. I have terrible gaydar, and all the guys I'm usually attracted to don't like women. That sucks for me. I don't know, I just like the metro style guys that are, that take care of themselves. LinkedIn. Put up my professional portfolio. Get a match. Oh yeah. Coffee meets bagel. I don't really understand the concept of that one. So it's like you get five matches a day, but coffee and bagels. I'm allergic to coffee and I don't really like bagels, so nope. J-Date and Shalom. I really like Jewish guys. They're so cute. Like every time I go to New York, I always stay in the Upper East Side and it's a predominantly Jewish community. And so like I always see like the Jewish families and they're so cute walking down the street together. I love it. Oh, we've got Christian Mingle. Wait, was that the one? 
that was the one I talked to two guys. One criticized me for drinking a beer. The other one rode in the car with me and was like getting on to me for driving too fast. He was a bit of a fun sponge. I was only going 10 miles over, so I wasn't going that fast. And don't tell me what to do. Why do I don't even, <laughs> actually don't, I haven't signed into all these. I'm only, I only have these for the purposes of this video, I promise. Really the only ones I've been on are Bumble, Tinder, and Hinge. I had happened for a few weeks and that was, that was enough to creep me out. eHarmony and Match, I did actually, I'm ashamed to say that I paid for dating apps because those guys were ridiculous too. There's not really any good dating, probably if you want a good dating app, I would say Bumble is probably your best one. Bumble or Hinge, those both have pretty normal people. And the few people that I've gone out with on those have been really cool. I'm just, I'm going to delete all this crap because I've had these dating apps for like two. And I'm still single, so obviously it hasn't resulted in what I'm looking for. I'll talk to a guy for a few months and it just, it doesn't reach to that level of where I want it to go. And then the conversation just stops. Or it's either I really like the guy and the guy doesn't like me. Or the guy really likes me and won't leave me alone. And I'm just like, I don't like telling people no. I feel bad. I hate hurting people's feelings. So I kind of just don't respond. And I know that's terrible. I shouldn't. I should just woman up and tell them I'm just not interested. And I'm going to do that from now on because it's a dick move. I'm not the right girl for those dating apps. Like, if you want to, like, have fun and just have non-committal hookups. Great, good for you. I want the relationship and the commitment and hanging out with the same person over and over again and talking and cuddling and all that fun relationshipy stuff. There was maybe only like one guy that I really wanted to see again and I never got to and I was so disappointed. But I think I mean, you can't really know somebody for like two hours, but I think it was like the coincidences and the similarities that we had that really got me overly excited about this person. And it was like stupid stuff. Like, do you guys ever have these like stupid girl moments where you like overanalyze stuff? But it was like, I thought it was really cool that we met off like, like I was in a big city, so like, we matched on two different dating sites. I can't believe I'm saying this. We matched on two dating sites. And like our f our phone numbers had the same last five digits, but in a different order. Oh my god, it's fate! <laughs> I feel so stupid saying that. But it was just like all the different things. It was really cool. But that guy was like, thanks for the free sample of ice cream. Peace. Bye. That really sucked. But yeah, like I feel like that's most guys on there. Not a free sample of ice cream. And that's how guys like treat these, treat you as a woman on these dating apps. They all just want free samples and then they decide on some other flavor. I'm just going to quit looking on these dating apps, hoping I'm going to find my person because that's not going to happen because it's a freaking dating app. I mean, come on. But I'm just going to focus on me for right now. And I know what I want. I know what kind of person is going to make me happy in a relationship. I know what kind of relationship. I know what I want out of the relation relationship. Honestly, that person, I was excited because we were both medical people. But that made me realize that maybe I just want to date somebody in the medical field because we get each other. Non-medical people don't understand when I can't respond to a text message and it might take me hours later or I don't get off work when I say I'm going to. Sometimes I have to stay over and that happens sometimes. Or like being on call and you can't go do anything. You can't drink or any of that stuff. But like people just don't understand. They don't understand like why I'm so tired or exhausted. I just want to like come home, lay on the couch and want watch Netflix. And they're like, you're boring. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm tired. 
I had people's lives in my hands and it's exhausting. But yeah, so I'm just going to work on myself and figure out more what I want and focus on being the type of person that I want to attract and what they're going to want to. So yeah, none of these dating apps are right for me. I'm just, I'm not dating app material, I don't think. I'm one of the good ones. I'm not one of those crazy girls. I just, I'm a normal girl that wants a real relationship. And that's so hard to find. All right, well, if you guys are on dating apps, good luck. And I feel like I've been on them for so long because I do know people that have met their significant other off of them and they're happy. They have happy relationships. So I feel like I've kept I kept them for too long and I just need to meet somebody in person, like a friend of a friend, a work colleague, something, I don't know. But just like meet in real life as opposed to like on a stupid app where the conversation goes nowhere, you talk for a few days, you hang out, you go out, you talk for a few days, and then they just, they're gone. All right, good luck to you guys out there on dating apps, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.